Good morning. We're working on section 5.5. Sorry, pardon. 5.4. This is the 5.4 lecture. Okay, we're working on proportions. A proportion is a statement with two ratios or rates that are equal. Okay, this is a review of proportions. The extremes and the means for a proportion are as follows. The extremes are the first and the last, and the means are the two in between, the two and the three in this case. The fundamental property of proportions. In any proportion, the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. Okay, so what that means, <laughs> mean, haha, <laughs> is you take the 1 times the 6, you would get 6, and the 2 times the 3, again, you would get 6. So 6 is equal to 6. This is the property of proportion, and it can be used to tell if two ratios or rates are actually proportional. All right, this property of proportion can be used. Oh, I just had that. Use the fundamental property of proportion to tell if the following are indeed equal. So what we're going to do is multiply the 5 times the 8 and then the 2 times the 20 and see what we get. Well, 5 times 8 we know is 40. And the question is, is that equal to 2 times 20? Well, sure enough, 2 times 20 is indeed 40. All right, number two. So now we're going to look at 13 times 95 and 19 times 65. So again, I could attempt these in my head, but it's been a long day, so the brain is not quite as reliable. So I've got out my calculator. Uh, all right, get to the main mode. There we go. All right, so we have 12, 13 times 95, and I get 12, 35. Back to pen. So does that equal 19 times 65? It sure does. All righty. Again, 40 times 22 and 29 times 29. So 40 times 22 should be 88, 880, whoops, not supposed to be still in highlighter, 880, and 29 squared, 841, no, so those are not equal proportions. Okay. Those well, are not proportional. All right, moving on. Okay, now we're going to use the fundamental property of proportions to solve the following the following uh, problems. So, in order to achieve that, what we're going to do is multiply the x and the 20 and the 24 and the 5 and then solve makes life very easy. Okay, so that means I'm going to have 20x equal to, well, 5 times 24. 5 times 20 is 100. 5 times 4 is 20. You add the two together, I'm going to get 120. Now, to solve for x, we have to divide both sides by the coefficient of the x. Okay, 12 divided by 2 is 6, so we get x equals 6. Okay, not too bad. All right, 
Here's some practice problems. So we multiply four times eight is, well, let's get the x first. So we have two x equals four times eight is 32. Divide both sides by the coefficient of the x, which is two. And I'm gonna get x equals half of 32 is 16. All right, number two. You get my x out there first, 0.9x. Well, you know what? I don't like that decimal. So you know what I'm going to do? We're going to get rid of that first, especially when you see that both of these in that proportion are decimals. So I can rewrite this as 9 over 3 equals negative 6 over x. Now it's a little bit easier. I don't have to worry about those decimals. All right, so 9 times x is equal to 3 times 6, which is now a negative 18 because of the negative 6. All right, divide both sides by the coefficient of the x, and I end up with x equals negative 2. All right, over here on number 3, 7x equals 28. We divide both sides by 7. x equals 4. Okay, that's nice. Now we have 10x equals 35. Okay, divide by 10 x equals well there are seven fives in 35 and two in 10. all right one more section here okay now we're going to again cross the multiplying here one third y equals well, two thirds times five, which is really over one. So now we've got one third y equals 10 over three. All right, so if we divide both sides by one over three, we have a complex fraction and we're gonna end up with Ten thirds times three over one. Flip and multiply. Threes cross off. Y equals ten. All right, number six. All right, we're going to rewrite this. Three times eight is twenty-four over 5 times 3 is 15. All right, now we multiply 15 in equals 240. We divide both sides by 15. And I think we get 16. All right, I'm going to type this into the calculator to be sure, but I'm going to talk you through how I would do that in my head. Well, I know that two 15s are 30, and I know that 24 has eight threes, three times eight. So if double the 15, I'd have to, to double the eight as well. So instead of eight, it's 16. So two, four, zero, divide. 15, and then it comes out to 16, so I was correct. All right, over here, remember, I have a 1. So now when I multiply this through, I get y equals 16 times 0 0.75. Now, again, to do this by saying two of these makes 1.5,
Okay, yeah. Two of these make 1.5. That's almost 15. There we go. Sorry, I'm typing this in my calculator just to be sure. 12. All right. 280x equals 112 times 530. So 112 times 530, I get 280 equals 59360. We're going to divide both sides by 280. X is going to equal 212. There we are. All right, and we're all finished with this one. Get your homework done. Come with lots of questions to class.